Wild pigs are known to carry at least 45 separate diseases. According to the CDC, at least 24 of these diseases are transmissible to humans. We caught up with Dr. Susan Culp of the Texas Animal Health Commission to find out more about disease transmission in wild pigs and also to learn whether or not these animals are safe to eat. Transmission of disease in feral pigs depends on the disease itself. Sometimes it can be through direct contact with the infected animal. Sometimes it can be through ingestion of contaminated feed or water. Some of the diseases of concern in wild pigs are regulatory in nature, and those include swine brucellosis and pseudorabies. We also have foreign animal diseases that we don't have here in the United States, like hog cholera and foot and mouth disease. Some wild pigs will show clinical signs of disease, but oftentimes wild pigs will show absolutely no clinical signs that they are ill. According to the CDC, there is no way to completely eliminate the risk of disease transmission when consuming feral pigs. However, the CDC and the USDA have developed a guidance document to help minimize the risk of disease transmission when consuming wild pigs. When preparing the meat, ensure that the meat has reached an internal temperature of 160 degrees when measured with a meat thermometer placed in the center of the meat. One common myth is that freezing, smoking, drying, and pickling will kill any bacteria that are present in the meat. However, this is a misconception. You still need to prepare the meat to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. If a person becomes ill after the consumption of wild pig meat, some of the clinical signs they may experience include flu-like symptoms, like chills, fever, headache, fatigue, or even joint pain. If you experience any of these clinical signs, it is a good idea to seek medical attention. So, are wild pigs safe to eat? Well, technically the answer to that is no. However, I think it's much more a question of how best to minimize the risks should you choose to consume wild pigs. There'll be a link to that CDC guidance document in the description below. Also, be sure to check out our new wild pig website listed below me here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.